Hi, my name is Amy Francisco, and I'm the museum educator for DOSA and tour programs here at Munson Williams Proctor Arts Institute. Welcome to Outside the Frame. When we look at a work of art, it can often be intimidating. We sometimes feel like we should know what the artist is trying to say right away. It can be even harder to have conversations about works of art. We're going to look at this piece today by local artist and Pratt MWP associate professor Claudine Metric. However, I won't tell you the title just yet. First, I want to show you one of the strategies we use at the museum to talk about artwork. We're going to do some inquiry-based exploration of this drawing. We'll start by asking the simplest question. What am I looking at? The answer might seem pretty obvious in this case, but let's try it anyway. Spend some time noticing everything you can about this drawing. You can pause the video here if you'd like more time. So, what are we looking at? You might say a flower or a sunflower. You might notice that the picture is rendered in black and white. You might notice that the flower seems to be laying on its side. You might notice the dark shadow behind the flower. You might notice the size of the flower, the number of leaves, or the thickness of the stalk. You might notice the size of the drawing, or that you can clearly see the marks made on the paper by the charcoal. The next question we want to ask ourselves is why. This is where we start thinking about the artist's intention, or even just our own interpretation of their work. We don't necessarily need answers to these questions, but this part can be really fun. I like to think of it as doing a puzzle, or answering a riddle. You can pause the video again if you like in order to think about the whys behind this drawing. If you're watching with someone else, why not have a little conversation? This is where I might tell you the title of the artwork if there is one. I want to make it clear that your own impressions and conclusions are important, whether or not the title lines up with them. We all bring our own perspective to the artwork, and that informs the way we understand it. The title of this piece is, They Gave Us These Seeds at Your Funeral. I'll give you a moment to connect what you've seen and thought about this artwork to this new information. Does this change how you see this drawing? Does it give it a meaning you hadn't considered before? How does it align with what you've already observed and hypothesized about it? Now that we've investigated this piece thoroughly, we could stop right here. However, I want to share with you the story behind this drawing. This is the second in a series of drawings and paintings that Claudine made in response to the untimely death of a close friend of hers. When Jane got sick, her father planted sunflowers right outside Jane's bedroom window so that she could look up and see them after a rough day. When Jane passed away, her family gave fellow mourners sunflower seeds as memorial cards. The flowers that grew from them would be a way for Jane's memory to live on. Her large and supportive community shared photos of the sunflowers as they grew, bringing together all of these different people through their shared grief, love, and memories. Claudine planted these seeds next to her front porch a couple of years after Jane passed away. When the sunflowers grew, they were taller than her and the blossoms were bigger than her head, their size reflecting Jane's importance in her life. This particular flower cracked at the stem under its own weight and fell to the ground as Claudine was sitting on her porch one day. As she dragged the sunflower onto her porch, the sunlight hit it just right, and she knew she had to draw it. I wanted to talk about this drawing because it really makes room for grief. We all have experience with grief to some degree or other. This past year has had many of us grieving for many different reasons. But as much as this drawing talks about grief, there is hope there too. When I spoke with Claudine about this piece, she said that she really wanted the audience to see the beauty through the pain, and that the pain and grief make beauty and joy all the sweeter. I hope that during this difficult time that we are all facing, you can still find moments of beauty and joy to hold on to. I want to leave you with an excerpt from the poem, Go to the Limits of Your Longing, by Rainer Maria Rilke. Let everything happen to you, beauty and terror. Just keep going, no feeling is final. My name is Amy Francisco, and thank you for joining us during Outside the Frame.